Hello, and welcome to another episode of BTFO, or Brief Thoughts for Others. Today, I'm going to be covering the 2024 film Honora, uh, starring Mikey Madsen. Um, uh, this film, I would say I really, really like this movie. Um, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's the only real complaint that I would have that I think maybe might help people if you know going in is uh, the pacing of it is kind of like a bell curve where I don't know if saying it starts off slow wouldn't be quite right um, but I guess uh, it the first like it's pretty clear where the um, the act breaks are basically um, and the first act there's there is some setup in it but I it's kind of it's like you know what's going on and um, then it's just it's a whole lot of like fun visuals and stuff um, and like fun performances fun scenes uh, but not too much to add to the story and then the like middle portion of the movie uh, is where like the plot really picks up and we're having a whole lot of things happen right back to back um, and the middle portion of the movie is really really funny um, I, <laughs> I really liked it um, and then the the last like third of the movie is where it really slows down and I think it's because they as funny as the movie is it wants to have a very serious ending um, which I think it does achieve it just it slows way down to get there and it's kind of to the point where I think honestly if you just trimmed a bunch of the shots uh, I think you could convey the same message but not screw up your pacing as bad um, though I admit that that's more of a personal preference type thing um, and the the ending for this one I just you know I would say uh, don't don't go in expecting uh, to leave in like a happy mood um, it's a very, I suppose bleak might be a proper word for it. Um, it's an ending that I can't really say that I've seen too much in movies where we kind of end with the conflict's been resolved, but the, the main character is at her like emotional low of the film like mentally and emotionally she has hit rock bottom and so like you know that it's it's only going to go up um but and it's kind of i i wouldn't say cathartic um but like at the end you get to see her kind of finally let like really let the stress of her life get to her um and so it's it's a very um like it's it's a theater silencing ending that's for sure uh cause the theater I saw it in there weren't too many of us um but uh, it was definitely, it was not, a, uh, no one was like chatting at the end. Everyone kind of got up quietly and left. Um, and I, I think that's a good thing. I think that's what the film was going for. Uh, and like, I, I do really appreciate that. 
Um, but I suppose uh, just getting into spoilers, I do want to talk a little bit about um, some of the highlights for me. So uh, if it sounds at all interesting to you, um, I would recommend going and seeing it um, and then maybe coming back to hear my spoiler thoughts. But um, I like I said, the um, the second act is really funny. Um, I I really love uh, Igor as a character because I love that he's like he's supposed to be the Russian like almost mob hand. I don't think they're explicitly Russian mob uh, in this, but they act very much in the similar way. Uh, even to the point that the uh, head Russian mobster from Nobody appears in this uh, as the like Russian boy's dad, um, and he's not in it for very long. But I, I really like that actor. Um, he does a really good job, especially in this one where he's not. He's given maybe like five lines, but he <laughs> like delivers all of them perfectly. Um, and he gives a great performance for the little amount of time that he's actually on screen. Uh, but like, uh, so Igor is supposed to be this like mob grunt kind of for the Russians, but he's just, he's a very normal guy. Um, where like, I, I just, I love how much of his interactions with people are kind of no, I want to go back to, like, doing my shit. Like, uh, I don't really want to be here. <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with this. Um, and, like, the fucking... The comedy of, like, him having to restrain um, Anna. And then, like, the first... His partner comes in. I was like, "What are you doing? Like, why is she tied up?" And he's like, he, "She attacked me. Like, she tried to run away. Well, I'm tired." And he's like, "No, I don't want to do that." And he's like, "Just untie her." And so he's like, "Okay." And so he lets her go, and immediately uh, she like um, hits the other Russian guy and starts running for the door. Um, the other Russian guy goes, uh, she's trying to escape. Um, uh, Igor is just like, no, really? Like, <laughs> um, so then they like capture her again, uh, <laughs> and tie her up. And then the Armenian guy comes in and he's like, she's a little girl. You're two grown men. Why is she tied up? Like, this isn't, this isn't right. This isn't what our job is. Like, what is, what's wrong with you two? Like, on tire. And then she ends up, uh, uh, I think that's the time where she breaks the other Russian guy's nose. Um, so then they, uh, like, restrain her again. Uh, or no, that's when she starts screaming rape. Um, they're all like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, none of us are doing that. Like, what What do we do? Like, um, and so it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it could be incredibly dark. Um, but the way they do it is really, really funny. Um. And like, I just, I love it so much. Um, and Igor is really great where you just, you get to see all throughout it that like, he's a very normal person who's just trying to get through this day. Um, and then you, you kind of find out uh, near the end, like why he's so eager to like get done with this, um, which is kind of unfortunate for him. Uh, but yeah, I I really liked him as a character. Um, Mikey Madsen does a really good job throughout this film. Uh, it's very clear, especially from uh, like the first act, that she was giving this her all. Um, that this is not... Um, which is kind of funny because the character she's playing thinks like very highly of herself. 
but in order to play that kind of character as well as she does um like that's kind of one of those roles that you need to have like very little ego or uh like um very little uh what's the word shame i guess is what i'm looking for uh and like you just you gotta commit uh you gotta just be that person and do what that person would do um and it's it's really really neat um so yeah i guess that pretty much sums up uh my brief thoughts on Anora. Uh, I I really like the movie overall. I've got some minor gripes with it, um, but overall, I would probably put it as one of the better movies that I've seen this year. Um, so yeah, I I would really recommend it if it sounds at all <laughs> interesting to you. Um, but uh, for now, bye bye.